Hey, welcome back to Curtis Reacts. My name is Curtis. This is Reacts. Today we're going to be reacting to Oprah. There is a video called Oprah Denies Jesus Christ. And this is going to be cool because I, I haven't heard of Oprah before this. What? If you search for like Oprah and religion or something, I don't know what I did. I did something awesome. And this video comes up a bunch of times under different names. This is the one with I think the most views. Got a sensational title, like sensationalized title. Sensational. And it's an old clip. I think it's from her show way, way back in the day. I'm gonna come at this from the perspective I always come from, which is a Swedenborgian Christian. If you wanna know more about my perspective, check out my other channel. I lay the whole thing out. We got more than a thousand videos on there. So is Oprah denying Jesus Christ? What does it mean to deny Jesus? Christ is she bad is somebody else bad we got to get to the bottom of this man a panel has been discussing the spirituality and the forces of God but I also believe that there are two forces that are here with us that we do have our our, our God that we can depend on but there's also a power of darkness well, look at that resolution that's like N nintendo 64. it's like super nintendo graphics on this <laughs> i think that's true yeah there's a power of power of god and power of darkness and you don't have to look in e even look in the bible to see that you just look in your mind just look in your own mind you can start to pretty obviously tell this is the good stuff the stuff i want to be the stuff that if somebody could hear me thinking and wanting this that i'd be like see look at that and then there's other stuff which is like why is this thought why are these thoughts even going through my head there's good and evil i, I would say so Okay, that's the react. Do you believe that uh, that you can choose between one or the other? Most, most absolute, definitely. Yeah. Now, now Marianne uh, Williamson says in her book *Return to Love* that we're always walking in the direction of one or the other. That all of your actions in life, either you're moving toward the darkness or you're moving toward the light. Yeah, moving toward the darkness or moving toward the light in all of your actions. Swedenborg says the same thing. Doesn't Jesus Christ say the same thing? I mean, repent. What, what is repent? It's just, hey, this this stuff is toward the darkness, so I'm going to stop doing it and not do it anymore. Go and sin no more. This is the good stuff. I'm going to walk, pick up the cross and follow him. Okay, I don't, where's this denial, man? She calls it fear and love. Marianne Williamson calls it fear and love. Those are the two opposites. I've, I actually got to meet Marianne Williamson one time. She seemed like a very nice person, had a kind comment to me, even though she was just passing by. I'm not crazy about fear versus love. I, I do know that that's a big deal and that, uh, that those are the two ultimates in life. It's fear or love. I think that there really is the pleasure in what is good and the pleasure in what is evil. Those are the two opposites. There, there can be fear that kind of pushes you toward evil that kind of makes you latch on to certain things that are peripheral but when it gets down to it it's not just like all the greatest evil in the world is someone's really afraid and so they do it you get to a point where you're, you're doing it because you want to i think that it's fear is cool but i've never quite been satisfied by like fear versus love there's this wonderful book called ishmael by daniel quinn which talks it which which is Anyway, it's a gorilla talking, but anyway, uh, it talks about one of the points it brings out is one of the mistakes that human beings make is believing that there is only one way to live That's and right. that we don't accept that there are diverse ways of being in the world, that there are millions of ways to be a then human how do you being please and, God? and many ways. No, but many. Wait, wait, that's a good point. How do you please God? Because millions of ways to be a human being, I don't have any problem with that. Diverse ways of being in the world. Actually, Swedenborg says that heaven is not the same for any one individual. Even the place God wants you to be, God has a particular place for everyone that's different than everyone else's place, but they're complementary. I agree. There's millions of ways to be in the world, and you can't know how someone else is supposed to be. Sometimes that can be used to just say, like, it's all fine. But the other day, I was driving down the road with my wife, and we saw two cars stopped on the side of the road and we thought it was a fender bender but it was actually i don't know if that's what started or something but one guy had gotten out of his car and was yelling at the other car and trying to open their door i don't care what happened you don't do that that's not one of the ways to be so she's saying how do we please god that there's this yeah there's this infinity everyone is supposed to be different but yet there is this dark and light if you just say everything's fine which i don't think oprah's saying but we'll see then the world doesn't improve and everything just is how it already is and that's not why I got into the game. That's not why I like spirituality or religion, or whatever you want to call it. I want the world to be better than it is. So let's see what she says. But many paths to what you call God. That and is her path crazy. might be something else. And when she gets there, she might call it the light. But her loving and her kindness and her generosity brings her, if it brings her to the same point that it brings you, it doesn't matter whether she called it God along the way or not. Okay, many paths to God. The comments for this video, some people were saying, oh, she's new age, new age. Back before there was a new age. This is something that people really came at hard, hard at Swedenborg for. 
Emanuel Swedenborg, mid 1700s, son of a Lutheran bishop, deep within theocratic Europe. He was saying, listen guys, there are many paths to heaven. And Swedenborg is absolutely crazy about Jesus Christ and was saying, of course, of course, Jesus has provided a means for everyone to have salvation and that non-Christians can go to heaven. And there's actually, there can be some real barriers to Christians going to heaven because they grab these religious ideas and think, oh, all I have to do is say the name of Jesus Christ and I don't have to live well. The actual battle is repenting and, and the battle between good and evil that we were just saying. So Swedenborg would say, yeah, man, there are multiple paths. That doesn't mean everything you can do is a path to God. Absolutely, there's a path into what's the opposite of God, which is everything that's against the Ten Commandments, everything that's in that evil direction. But... Any religion that has the basic framework of the Ten Commandments or something analogous to them and teaches you to believe in a divine being, that's a path that will get you to heaven. I'm not saying when you get there, you may not, you may learn more, but that will work. And I guess the danger that could be on that, I mean, it, it sounds great on the onset, but if you really look at both sides, I there could possibly be just one way. What, what about Jesus? What about Jesus? Whoa, whoa, someone without the microphone is talking. They say, what about Jesus? Because if, if there's a lot of paths to heaven, what about Jesus? Isn't he the only way? Let's go. What, what are they going to say? Can we get her a microphone? <laughs> I didn't really know Oprah's show was like this gritty and it's like a public debate of theological ideas. Man, I gotta go get myself a copy of the O Magazine. There is one way and only one way, and there that is through be. Jesus. There couldn't possibly be with because a million you of people say in the there world. Isn't. There couldn't possibly be. Because you say, you intellectualize it and say there isn't. If no. you don't believe that, you're all buying into the lie. Okay. And this lady says, there's only one way, and that way is Jesus. And if you don't get with that, you're deceived. What's Oprah gonna say? Do you think, do you think that if you, if you are somewhere on the planet, where are you some, if you're somewhere on the planet and you never hear the name of Jesus, you never hear the name of Jesus, but yet you live with a loving heart, you lived as Jesus would have had you to live, you lived for the same purpose that Jesus came to the planet to teach us all, but you are in some remote part of the earth and you never heard the name of Jesus, you cannot get to heaven, you think? Can't argue with that. I, that is right on. And Swedenborg takes it a step further. He says that everybody who is worshiping God, and particularly as a person, like thinking of God as the, this divine person, living that life, that they actually, that is Jesus Christ, that they are contacting Jesus. And how would it, really? God is going to create children and is not going to give them the means of salvation? Okay, what are they going to say? And that is covered in the scriptures too. The People are talked about Truly. that. God knows the heart. Does God care about your heart or does God care about if you call his son Jesus? Well, you know... Oprah, God, Jesus cannot come back until that gospel is preached in the four corners of this earth. So, you know, figure it out. Okay. Okay. I can't get into a religious argument with you. It's not religion. <laughs> does God care about your heart or does he care about if you call his son Jesus? Swedenborg explains the false Christ. This is from Matthew 24, 23 to 24, if you're wondering. The false Christ is people who fixate on the name Jesus Christ, but don't live the life that Jesus asked you to live, because that's an idolatrous way to look at God. Like, I'm a Christian. I just say Jesus. I just say Jesus. And yeah, I, I rob and steal and cheat and plunder. But I've said Jesus. I, I believe in Jesus. I've said that. I don't know, man. I don't think I can really get into a religious argument with Oprah about that. I, I don't think that that's a denial of Jesus Christ. She doesn't deny that he existed. She doesn't deny that he's important. All she's saying is there's got to be more to it, that there's many paths to Jesus. A lot of Christians would say no because they, they hear, I am the way, the truth, and the life. What does that mean? They've taken it to mean you got to say, say Jesus. Say you believe in Jesus. Where'd you get that from? Where did he say that's what I meant? That's one of the reasons why I, I stuck with the Christianity thing because of Swedenborg describing how there's a fundamental experience that we have of God, which is deeper than intellectual grasping of a, a name, which is we encounter right and wrong in our lives. And that actually everything that is right and that is good, love itself, that is who Jesus is. The person of Jesus is that, like that's his lifestyle. And when you encounter that throughout your life in the world, if you come to love that and follow that, and, and yes, it is important to have religious teachings that are, that are tied to that, but they don't have to be Christian teachings. Jesus loves everyone. 
And so, as part of love, you provide the means to salvation to everyone. So he's giving everybody the opportunity to choose what is right, follow the religion of their choosing or the, path, the spirituality of their choosing. That can be a path to heaven. I think it can get murky if you're saying, well, you know, anybody living any kind of life is fine and there, it matters. Be good, don't be evil. And you do have to have some principles you follow, but overall, come on, man. Oprah's not denying Jesus Christ there. She's earnestly looking at how do you live that life and how do I make it make sense? How do I understand this and, and love it? So, nah, I, I, think, I think she's fine. That's the reaction. Let's go. Goodbye, everyone.